Uh, I'm sure when you were a kid, you know, you never left your room, but now you're never going to leave your room with this stuff because there's no reason to. Somebody will feed you intravenously and uh, you'll have this shit on your head. It really is one more way that Disney had predicted the future with Wally, yeah. right? Is just all this bullshit right in front of you. Hey guys, it's Sunday. And if you've got bats in the belfry and you're on your way to see the nuns, you've got to get yourself the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Trimmer and use the code with hammer. Welcome back. Welcome back to Happening Now with Hammer. I'm Cousin Adam joining you today from Newport Beach. And with me in the studio, as always, is the trusty man who likes to think he's bowled more turkeys than anybody in the history of Ten Pin. It's Hammer. Chicks, baby. <laughs> Turkey <laughs> chicks. Hey, uh, Adam, Apple Vision Pro. What, what Was there an Apple Vision? You know, if there was an Apple Vision, the last time anybody had it was when Steve Jobs was around. Oh, wow. This is, I think, the most interesting thing to come out of Apple since the iPhone. But I'm having trouble thinking it's really that cool myself. And and I might just be somebody who's not as interested in the latest and greatest in technology, but specifically the idea of having all of my apps, entertainment, anything that's on my phone pressed right into my complete field of vision actually sounds more obnoxious than it does beneficial to me. Yeah, but you know what? Apple, ever since they've lost Steve, uh, God bless you, brother, um, who did an amazing job, they've kind of fell a little flat, it seems to me. And this seems like it's, you know, Oculus all over again. They they have had their few things that have worked super well for them, right? Right. Computers, as far as like their desktop and sure. the ease of travel with their MacBook Airs, um, and then even their MacBook Pros, I, I think that approachability, that's still the most popular system for most people to be using now. People who are really specialized with computers are still going to go to like a build your own system. But something like the Apple Vision Pro, where you're really moving all of your interactions and your data from your phone into this new visual interaction, I don't love the idea. I know a lot of people are going to be super behind it. But to me, it's like putting up another wall between our like electronic interactions or I guess putting and up a human interaction. Yeah, yeah. And it's so yeah. physical now. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's less physical, but it's it's just so apparent now. Right? Like Well, it, we're getting to that point you won't need any human interaction. You'll have, you know, AI and this kind of stuff that you're yeah. dealing with. And I'm thinking I guess of like how I use the internet when I was growing up, right? To like figure out what a chat room was and how do I use like smiley faces in aim or play right. this one weird internet game. I can't imagine a more annoying place for a pop-up window than right in front of my face like this. Like there have to be epilepsy warnings on this thing. This is, a and they're going to be throwing ads at you left and right. Cause that's going to be the uh, moneymaker. Yeah, absolutely. And the way that I have to navigate um, a computer screen or even a touch screen now to close out of pop-up ad windows, I just wonder how long it's going to take the the visual technology of like exit out of this window or will it mostly be audio commands? I, I don't think, you know, back in the day, uh, uh, I'm sure when you were a kid, you know, you never left your room, but now you're never going to leave your room with this stuff because there's no reason to. Somebody will feed you intravenously and uh, you'll have this shit on your head. It really is one more way that Disney had predicted the future with Wally, yep. right? Is just all this bullshit right in front of you. Well, then what do you want to do? I don't know. Something. Wow. So you think that's where uh, this thing's taken us? I think it's where a lot of businesses would be okay us being taken. Right. Right. Anything that ships directly to your house that you eat from a port portable or to-go container, this is a great system for them. Hey, if McDonald's had a conveyor belt right to your mouth and just keep feeding you and you all of a sudden you're <laughs> 700 pounds, I mean, they'd be happy as shit about that. Oh, yeah. That would be their happy place. Can I get another Coke, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But in a like competitive sense, 
this technology seems a little bit behind in its useful application versus where like the other like brain computing interfaces, if I'm saying that right, the the BCI stuff that right. like Neuralink and then all of the other companies, there are a few more that are actually even ahead of Neuralink in terms of like their development and what they're able to do with the product so far. Yeah, but it seems to me that Apple put this out and it's, they're, they're throwing crumbs out there mm -hmm. and they're going to charge a shitload of money and then they're going to do like they do with all their Apple 1 to Apple 758. Sure. Um, it's going to be the same thing, but it, they're starting off pretty childish, I think. Well, I, I think that that is the easy assumption to take. And I know it's certainly the perspective I'm coming at it from, but I also think it's going to be how they succeed, right? Because they're sure. giving us crumbs, then we'll get a crouton, then a slice, and then a whole loaf of bread over probably 10 years. And we'll be so hooked on this new convenience that we won't even really know what to go back to in terms of ordering DoorDash from our phone instead of our face. But you said something earlier, Adam, that uh, kind of falls flat on this, is that when iPhone came out, they were cheaper than they are today. And I wonder why they didn't start it that way so people get interested in it and spend a little bit of money instead of trying to take squeeze four grand out of my pocket when I don't even know what this product's going to do for me. Maybe they don't need everybody to get it right away. You always need everybody, bro. I, I don't know. I mean, I think we've seen a different story with VR, right? It hasn't made other gaming systems completely obsolete or, or a lot of other things. So It hasn't taken off and it's kind of, it's, VR is kind of old technology. Right? So it, I think there's a phasing in with this that they're doing, I don't know, it's tough for me to discredit Apple because they can pull success out of something like this. For sure. But why are they going backwards? In my mind, this is going backwards. Mm -hmm. Backwards to what? Well, I, you know, um, when you're doing the VR and you're putting these... these uh, The goggle system. Goggle or whatever, system yeah. on, whatever you want to call it. Um, you don't need that. I mean, they have systems where you just put a chip in your eye and you can do the same thing and you're manipulating with your hands. I, this just seems archaic to me. Yeah. And maybe they're thinking that the consumer has more disposable income for something like this than is available, right? Maybe they're thinking that, you know, three, four grand is like an accessible price point. Really? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not in the meeting. <laughs> I, I mean, apparently we missed that meeting, but uh, <laughs> wasn't on my schedule. But I got to tell you something. Uh, no, uh, with this climate and how expensive things are and interest rates and everything else, uh, most people don't have an extra four G's sitting in their pocket. I don't know. With the amount of kids I see riding around on e-bikes, I yeah. think there's some money sitting around for yeah. more people. <laughs> yeah. If they complain enough at mom and dad. But in the, in the commercial we were watching as well, the, they're kind of unveiling as they're going through the features. Right. There were a lot of things I didn't necessarily feel like I needed. Like I don't need my movies through Apple Vision Pro to be my entire field of vision. That actually sounds like it's going to hurt my brain and hurt my head. No. And on, on the Zoom, when you're talking to somebody, I, I, half the time my screen's off, it's blank. Right. And I don't need to see you. And wouldn't you still have to have, because you would probably still have to have a camera from like another computer, iPad, iPhone. Well, whatever, they're not going right? to be able to see you. That no, way. you would yeah. have this crazy fisheye vision of just your eyeballs. Right. That... Exactly. Oh, that might be cool. <laughs> that could be a crazy one. Yeah. All right. There's Adam's eye. Yeah. Okay. Great. You nope. better have that checked, bro. <laughs> no more subtle winks on the Zoom yeah, calls. Yeah. I mean, you're smoking a little too much. But as far as like this being used in a professional sense, I'm interested to see what it could do for folks who still design either details or larger spatial things. Because they were talking about kind of their 3D application, and that seems like a really cool thing. It, it kind of sounds more like a Tony Stark design thing, you know, in, right. in all those movies how he's like uh, talking to Jarvis and he's like, put this here and oh my gosh, I just discovered the whole thing, yada, yada. It seems like getting into the a 3D model of your design project could be really cool. Well, absolutely. I agree with that aspect of it. Um, but it's still, I think you're going to have a lot of people that might have problems with uh, 
you know, issues with that kind of imagery coming at them. You know what I mean? Like being inundated and overloaded with it? Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's a lot coming at you. Like you said, the movie. I mean, who yeah. needs that? Yeah. I just don't see it. Yeah. I wonder who will succeed. Epilepsy or, I mean, you know, somebody that, you know, has issues. I mean, that. How about even somebody with vertigo? Oh. Right? Yeah. This stuff swirling all around yeah. him? Yeah. Oh. It, I don't I wonder if like however the goggles fit I wonder if it can make you feel claustrophobic too right by the way guys Vertigo is a great movie it's an old movie Alfred Hitchcock check it out but yeah I, I'd say this versus like the rest of the kind of brain implant things that are going on out there I don't know th- those seem like so specialized to really solving medical issues and this just seems like another product for me to be able to waste my time with I don't know man I'm I'm Right now, I'm not a fan, but that might change. Yeah, yeah. So check it out, guys. And don't check out Hammer's search history when he grabs an Apple Vision Pro. Definitely do not do that. (laughs) Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a follow on Spotify, iTunes, and Google Podcasts.